In this video, we are going for Hive installation. We shall show you using one practical demonstration that what are the different steps to be followed one by one for the installation of our Hive on our Hadoop system. So please watch the video right now. In this video, we are going to show you that how to install Hive on our Hadoop system. So at first, we are going to initialize this screen that is the local host colon 50070 and if the respective URL works, if the respective local host get loaded, that indicates that the Hadoop is successfully running on my system. Here we are using the Hadoop version 2.4.1. So when this Hadoop is running on our system, then we shall go for the Hive installation on it. So at first we are going for the our installation.txt. So there is a Hive installation. We are going to install Hive version 0.14. And here we are having the link from where we are supposed to download our Hive and while downloading it will get uh, the respective uh, zip file uh, will get uh, will get downloaded onto our download folder. So let me copy this URL at first and then we are opening the browser tab and going for paste and go. So we have done the paste and go. So, so now from here we are going to take the file which we want to Take that is a 77 MB file. So there is a Apache hyphen hive hyphen zero dot one four dot zero hyphen bean dot tar dot gz. So it is a 77 MB file. So we are going to download this one at first. So clicking here and going for save and OK. And now my down download is now in operation. Let me see the progress. Here you can find that it is getting downloaded. So we shall click on the file onto the download folder and then we shall open this file using archive manager. You see, we have done the double click. So archive manager is there. So onto the folder home, we are going to create one folder that is a hype. So this hype is one empty folder. If you can, if you do the double click on this hype, you can find that we're having this empty folder. Now we have double clicked on the downloaded file under the download folder. So archive manager has extracted all the uh, all the resources, all the files and folders there. So we are going for control A, we are doing the uh, control E means we are going for the all select all and then we shall drag it onto this hive folder here. We are going to drag it onto this hive folder. So all the files have got copied here. So closing this G file now, opening this, uh, uh, this is our uh, terminal where we will be writing our commands. So let me check what are the other operations to be done. So we're going for sudo get edit slash etc slash profile file. So giving the password for big data. So actually we require actually we require to update our profile file which is existing under this etc folder. So we're going to write some code there. So what are the codes we're going to write here? So this is a section there is a hype home is equal to so respective path is given then path is equal to dollar path colon this dollar uh, hive underscore home slash bean and export hive underscore home and export path so these are the four lines we're going to do the copy and paste onto that slash etc slash profile file so now we are done we're doing the copy and we are already open the respective uh, profile file so at the end we have done the paste so these are the four lines that to be pasted under the uh, file that is a profile which is which will be found slash etc slash profile there and obviously later on we shall execute this slash etc slash profile to make the changes effective in our system so we have done it so this is our hive home so there is a slash home slash big data slash hive so this is our hive home path and we are doing the respective export of the hive home and path also so going for save and close. Now here you see we are having uh, some configurations that to be done. Okay, so there are a series of configurations that to be done. So we should go very slow one by one, step by step. You can pause the video also if you require. So at first we are going to log into the Hive Conf folder. There is our configuration folder under Hive folder, and here we are having one file. There is a Hive hyphen env dot sh dot template this particular file has to be renamed to hive underscore env dot sh so in this configuration folder the mother file name will be hive 
hyphen env dot sh dot template we are supposed to rename it to hive uh, uh, hyphen env dot sh it can be done in two different ways we can do a copy of copy and paste uh, of this particular file and then in the pasted version we are going to change the name as hive uh, hyphen env dot sh otherwise we can rename the template file directly so whatever you prefer you can do that one and then also we are supposed to open another file and that is our hive slash hive slash conf slash hive hyphen default dot xml dot template so we shall open that file also and that file has to be renamed to hive uh, hyphen site dot xml so we'll be going to do this uh, two tasks simultaneously so i'm just repeating once again it just f follow my instruction so hive hyphen env dot sh dot template file has to be renamed to hive hyphen env dot sh so that is the step number one we'll be doing and then we'll be writing some we'll be doing some changes there and later on we'll be going for hive slash conf slash hive hyphen default dot xml dot template and this file has to be renamed to hive hyphen site dot xml so let us go for the demonstration for your better understanding so i'm going for this so we're going for So this is the Hadoop path. I'm just this is the installation path here. So I'm doing the copy of it. I require it. So I shall go for this com folder, and then this is the hive underscore env dot sh dot template, and this is a file which has to be renamed. So I shall go for this. I can make a copy. Otherwise, I can rename it directly. So I'm just erasing this part. So template dot template. Okay, and then I'm going for the rename. So here I've opened this file here. You can easily find that I opened this file and then I'm going for this Hadoop. I'm going for this Hadoop home. Yes. So the path, whatever we copied uh, from the uh, from the terminal and also making this particular variable uncommented. So now it will become effective. So also we require to have the hive conf dar. You see the line number 51. You can find that. So export hive conf hive underscore conf underscore dar. So this particular directory uh, we are supposed to find out, and then we shall uh, put the uh, right hand side will be filled up with the corresponding directory name, and we shall make this line number fifty one uncommented. So for this one, let let me search for the configuration directory. So going for home Hadoop, and then I'm going for this etc Hadoop. Yes. So this is a respective path. So home R2 Hadoop etc Hadoop. Okay. Let me check it once here. So I think that would be better. So we've gone for CD slash then home slash big data slash Hadoop slash etc slash Hadoop. We have logged into this folder now. Now going for L L LS. Yes. These are the files we are having. So let me copy this path here. Let me copy this path. Yes, that path we required for the configuration path. So now opening my uh, there is a hive hyphen env dot sh. We are making this line uncommented, and on the right hand side of this equal to symbol on the right hand side we have pasted that path. So these two changes are to be done in this Hadoop hyphen env dot sh so remember this one i'm keeping the screen on the uh, uh, on the view in the view you see so we are going to update the hadoop home is equal to slash home slash big data slash hadoop slash and then we are having this export hype that is our underscore conf underscore dir is equal to slash home slash big data slash hadoop slash etc slash hadoop slash so how we got this path also we have demonstrated so now let me go for Yes, we have done the required options. Let me check whether anything is pending there or not. Let me check once. Then going for save and then we are going for close. Yes. So now we are going for the next step we are going to do. So we are opening one file. There is a there is a file is hype and then uh, we are coming to this folder conf and that is the file that is a hive hyphen default dot xml dot template so here we'll be doing lots of changes so remember from where we are opening this file it is under hive conf 
So what is the file name? That is the hive hyphen default dot XML dot template. So this is the respective file name. And this file is the template file. So I want to do the rename. So let me do the rename here. So I'm just deleting this particular part and then I shall go for this. Uh, I shall making this one as height hive uh, hyphen site dot XML. As I mentioned this one earlier. So I shall be renaming this file to hive hyphen site dot XML. So this particular file can be copied and the copied version can be renamed. Otherwise, you can rename the mother one also. So that is up to you. So I'm going for the rename operation now. So the file has been renamed to hive hyphen site dot XML. So in this file, we are going to do lots of changes. So we'll be going very slow and I shall show you that how the things so I open the file that is a hive uh, hyphen site dot XML. The file has got opened. Okay, now coming to the installation here. So you see, we're having some properties to change. Okay, so at first the property name is hive dot meta store dot URIS. So this property we're supposed to search on the file that is a hive hyphen site dot XML. We are supposed to search this property and whenever the property will be obtained and there will be writing this value. There is a value within the value tag. You can easily find that in the line number two to four, it is written. That is a thrift a colon slash slash local host colon nine zero eight three. So this value has to be put there. So I'm just making a copy of it. I'm just making a copy going to this hype site. Now I shall go for control F. I shall go for the paste. I'm finding only one instance. You can find that one of one. That means I found only one instance of that. So here the value has to be put here. Description is uh, is optional. You can put uh, you can put the correct one or whatever the description is uh, is remaining here. You can uh, should remain with that. So now the value has to be updated. So I'm going for here. So this value I'm just copying and then going to the uh, hype site XML. So I'm just overwriting this one. So I think you are getting my point. So hype dot meta store dot URIS. So this is the name of the property and the value has got updated. So now we are going for this this one. Now the next one is that we are having one property. There is a hive dot meta store dot schema dot verification. So this is the name of the property and the value should be uh, put as false. So remember this one the value should be false here. So I'm just making a copy of it. And again I shall go for the control F for the find under hive hyphen site dot XML we are going for control F we're going for control F and then we are pasting it here we are having only one instance you can find that one of one so here we should write the value there so the value should be you can check it once it is false so so need not to change anything okay now we're going for the next one so next one is our we're going for this hive uh, site dot XML we're going for this uh, that is a hive dot support dot concurrency. So here this is a respective tag We have found here. So I'm making this one true. I'm making this one true You can find that it was there mentioned in the line number two three five and in the line number two three six You can find that hive dot support dot concurrency This particular property name should be set with the value true and we have done that one in our hive hyphen site dot XML So we are going for the next one now the next property whatever you are going to copy here that is the hive dot enforce dot bucketing so this is the property name and this property will be will be searching again on this hive uh, hyphen site dot xml file and the value should be made true here the value should be made true so let me go for this so i'm just going for uh, control f that is a hive dot Enforce dot bucketing. So I should go for that. Yes. So here we're getting this one. So value should be true. So I'm making this one as true here. Making this one as true. Okay. Anything pending? Yes. There is another one. So that is our. We're having this hive dot exec dot dynamic dot partition dot mode. So we are going to search this one. We're going to search this one, and the value should be non rest non strict. Okay. So let me go for again. So the value should be non-strict and non-strict is there. Next one is our hive dot txn dot manager. Okay, we are having three instances. I'm finding the right right one. So it has to be updated with the respective value. So now 
so here we are doing the update on this hyphen site.xml now there is another one there is a hype compactor dot initiator dot on so searching the property here two instances we're getting yes we are having the value here so making that one true making that one true last one is the hype compactor dot worker dot threads similarly we're having two instances so here I'm supposed to make this one one so closing this one you can find that we are having this value as one here okay so we are getting it now let us let us go for the next one so all the updates we have done control L for clear we're having this JPS so we're having all the processes whatever running data node name node resource manager all them are node manager secondary name nodes all of them are running that indicates Hadoop is running there if I want to initiate hype I think one error will be coming because I didn't uh, uh, execute that etc slash profile file here so that's the error let me execute the command here so that is our sl dot slash etc slash profile so now the variables have got set let me execute the hype only yes now it is initiating yes the hype form has come so that means the hype has got installed successfully I've shown you the steps into details so I think you can easily install on your system then we shall go for the show database and the prompt has come thanks for watching this video